Nakiri versus Chinese Cleaver. So these are both great kitchen knives, and I use both at home, but there's some major differences between the two. The Chinese Cleaver, as you'll notice, is a much taller and longer blade. You can get to like a big head of cabinet or something really hefty and not lose the knife in what you're doing. You can also scoop stuff up off the cutting board, but if you're skilled, you can use this tip for really precise work, mince and garlic, really fine jobs like that. The Nakiri is a size that more home cooks are a little more comfortable with. Often the Japanese Nakiri will have a bit of a flatter edge, so when you come down to the cutting board with a sliding cut, uh, you get a really clean separation of vegetables, so you don't need to do that thing where you go back and pull stuff apart after you've cut it. Japanese steel tends to be harder than what's used in the Chinese knives, so this is going to stay sharp longer and take a sharper edge. But Japanese steel is also a little more delicate, a little more prone to chipping if you're not careful. The Chinese cleavers are a little bit softer, and many of them are a little more durable and forgiving. They do come in a variety of weights and thicknesses. I use the Nakiri more at home. It's a size that I'm a little more acquainted with, uh, but let me know in the comments which one you prefer.